is up y'all this is Richmond coming back at it with a lens review this is going to be the SMC Pentax M 35-70 focal or the aperture is going to be f 2.8 and so we're going to get right into it now I've already done the lens reviews for this lens but after using this for an extended amount of time I have discovered things that I feel like I should address so that is why I'm making another video this is going to be after a review for using it for an extended amount of time. I may do this with other lenses as well. So I've used several other Pentax lenses and I've come up with a couple issues that I see. So before I get into it, I just want to thank God for the ability to take all these amazing photos. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to take these amazing photos. So thank God for that. Also like and subscribe. If you, when you do that, once I reach a thousand subscribers, I have several lenses that I'm more than willing to uh, depart with in order to help someone else with their uh, photography journey. All these lenses that I have are for the Pentax K system, but then adapter is super easy to get. You get the adapter, you can adapt it for your full frame system. You can also use it for the Micro Four Thirds system as well, or an ASPC system. So anyways, let's get into it. We have the four categories, which is affordability, uh, quality, affordability, accessibility, quality, and versatility. So first off, let's go with the affordability. This one dropped down and it is now an eight because there is just as uh, good lenses that are just as good, that are just as affordable, if not more affordable that you can get for this system. I was able to get the Samyang and the Vivitar and even a Sigma lens for less than what I was able to pick up this Pentax for. It does have the super coating, so the multi-coating so, and it looks really nice but I think for the build quality and what you get with this lens I think you can get one for it's a little bit cheaper but if you want the Pentax one this is actually quite affordable because it's the manual version not the auto version so this one is actually still quite affordable at under a hundred dollars so that's an eight so next we're gonna go with the accessibility or the learning curve this one does have quite a bit of a learning curve for some reason even after an extensive experience of using manual focus this one just gets me, man. I don't know what it is. I, just, I find this a little bit more difficult to use than the other lenses that I have. I don't feel like it's a breeze or an easy to use. Focusing is super, uh, seems to be spotty a lot of times. Like sometimes I'll just have a whole, you know, session of picks that are a, a very good, uh, super in focus, super sharp, no issues there. And then next thing I know, I take, you know, 10 photos of, of something and all of them are out of focus, even though my indicator's telling me it's in focus, it looks in focus to me. Uh, so that was something that I'm just trying to figure out how to get over. I know some photographers have said that Infinity is not accurate on this, that you have to remove the ring inside and then be able to focus past Infinity. I've noticed that with the Infinity is a little off as well. I put it to Infinity and not everything's in focus. And I noticed that I had to stop it down and shoot at f8, uh, f5.6 uh, or 8, just to be able to get consistently clear photos. So that was another thing that I saw. So with that being said, I gave it a 6.5. Uh, so that was definitely a reduction on that score. Yeah, and I wanted to address that. And then for the next thing I want to do is talk about the build quality. It's an outstanding lens. The build quality is fantastic. There's nothing to say about it. The aperture ring moves super smooth. The push-pull zoom moves super smooth. Uh, the focusing ring moves super smooth. The quality is fantastic for something that was built, you know, like I said, 40 years ago. I have no issues about that. The whole thing is, is solid. And I may get some distortions in the lens, but other than that, uh, it's a fantastic lens. I would not gripe about that. So that's a nine. And then next would be the versatility of the lens. The lens is still super versatile. I was able to shoot cars, people, landscapes. Uh, I was able to shoot buildings, architecture. So I was able to shoot a wide variety of different subjects. I had a lot of fun with that. As a, a portrait lens, it does work relatively well. It works really good. I was able to get a lot of stuff like that. Is it as versatile as the 105 with macro or a lens that has macro? No. Once you have a lens that has macro, you can take a, that just opens up how close you can get to your subject. I know some people may think that's weird, like, you know, not necessarily works that great, but I feel like when it comes to shooting children and puppies and stuff like that, it makes it a little bit easier uh, to get those macro shots or like I have a, a photo of me shooting some fruit. 
uh, that would have been also cool to possibly have the macro mode. And I know it kind of blows out faces sometimes, but when it's when it's children or puppies, it's like it doesn't matter because they're still adorable. Uh, so there is that, and then that is it. So for the total score on this one, uh, it is a I believe a seven point eight. So that is a seven point eight on this one. Still would highly recommend you picking it up, especially if you find it well under a hundred dollars. Pick up the lens; it's a fantastic lens. It's fun to have the kit. It's fun to have to use it's definitely presented a challenge for me as a photographer so just for that sake i would definitely try and pick it up because once you do get those clear photos it is a fantastic lens it is like i said before it is a, a a lens full of primes which is super nice and i don't know why my computer keeps doing that as of late and it's literally just for this video i haven't had to happen before uh, so i'm gonna have to figure that out uh, so definitely pick that up uh, like I said, like and subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, and then you can also, uh, you know, help me by commenting what you dislike, since there is no dislike button, but hopefully you like the whole photo, uh, video, and that uh, hopefully you can help me get closer to those 1,000 subscribers, and then 5,000 beyond that, so that way I can give out one of these lenses. I'm super excited. I do have the 28. I have picked up a 28 millimeter lens I'm ready to shoot with. Uh, this is the Riken, Rikenon lens and then I have picked I picked up three signal lenses that I'm going to try. I have two Vivitars and a Sambiang, all that I have to review, which I haven't even touched. My Lumix lenses, my Lyrica, uh, all the Lumix lenses that I have are coming up soon. Let me know if you want to hear those first before I do any more Pentax. Uh, just let me know what you think and thank you again for watching and all the photos are going to be at the end of this video so you can you deep dive on the photos and kind of see them. Again, they're all unedited. So let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.